This is episode 203 and today we are talking about procrastination, the P word. not something you see every day. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I upload these daily videos called Thoughts on Confidence so that us women can get more intentional and conscious about our confidence. So if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do and hit that notifications button to get your daily boost in confidence. This is episode 203 of 365 and I am sat here in the gorgeous gardens of the Vineyard Hotel just waiting for a meeting. Not bad for an office if I do say so myself. So let's take a look at what the thought of the day is. Do the thing you need to do, especially when you don't feel like it. How many times have you been just as sluggish and slow as that there tortoise? When, especially when it comes to things that you need to get done, things that are necessary, but not necessarily fun. I am so guilty of this, especially in my business, because being a creative, I just wanna do all the things that are fun and creative. And yet, there are so many aspects of business that need to be done in order for it to be successful. And whether we like it or not, they need to get done. And the paradox I have found with this in my own experience is that I will put things off so long that they become such a bone of contention. And I spend so much energy stressing about the fact that I haven't done the thing that needs to get done that had I just done the thing in the first place, it would have freed up my time and energy and focus to spend more time on the things that I do enjoy. And so it's a false economy, putting off those, those necessary tasks, thinking that by delaying the discomfort of doing them, that you are, you are delaying the discomfort, but you're not, you're actually just, you are expanding the discomfort, you are, inflating that discomfort and you are spending far more time in discomfort than if you just pulled the band-aid and got the damn thing done such backwards thinking we, we can fool ourselves into the most illogical uh, explanations our emotions can play such games with our logic that we we convince ourselves that we are making the right decision when in actual fact when you take a step back and you actually think about what it is you're doing you realize that it doesn't make sense whatsoever and so what I've tried to do is recognize that when that procrastination starts to rear its ugly head and my resolve to do something is hindered because I for whatever excuse maybe it's fear of failure maybe it's fear of not understanding um, you know, it's all, the, it's all the discomfort stuff. It's all wanting to stay in your comfort zone and not to, to get uncomfortable. But when you recognize that you, you are procrastinating on that task, that right there should be your trigger to get it done as quickly as possible so that you don't, you don't delay any longer than is necessary and so that you can spend your time and energy on things that you do enjoy rather than on coming up with reasons and excuses as to why you should delay getting it done any longer. And even though you might not be consciously thinking about it, the fact that this undone task has remained undone is weighing on your subconscious mind. It is using up energy, it is taking up space, it is using up bandwidth. And um, that bandwidth, that creative energy is a precious resource and it shouldn't be wasted uh, trying to ignore that nagging feeling that's such a waste of energy it is not an efficient use of of your focus at all 
And so if we were to just get it done and cleared out the way, you know what I have found in the past when I have just bitten the bullet and done it, it was no, the reality of doing that thing was nowhere near as difficult, challenging, scary, or uncomfortable as what I had imagined it. So in my mind, I had created this huge picture of this challenging situation. I had imagined how hard it was going to be, how uncomfortable it was going to be. And then when I actually got around to it, it was so much easier. And the number of times I've asked myself, why the hell did I put this on for so long? Why didn't I just get it done? It, it was far easier than what I thought it would be. And in the meantime, I've wasted so much time and energy stressing about it. So learn from those experiences, learn from those mistakes, direct your energy and intention effectively rather than wasting it on all the excuses and the reasons not to do something. Just get it done. There is freedom in getting those things done and start to reframe these challenges as as opportunities as triggers to move forward and when you notice that you don't feel like doing it that right there is your trigger to do it straight away straight away pull the plaster get it done get it out of the way and the sense of accomplishment after the fact is so worth it it really is and your confidence grows as a result of you having taken action let me know what you think in the comments down below. I've got to head back to the hotel to have my meeting. But in the meantime, if you want to get conscious and intentional about your confidence, then make sure you sign up to my confidence workshop happening on the 4th of August. Details are in the description down below. And I am currently running a competition if you want to win a ticket to that workshop. All you have to do is share this video on Facebook using the hashtag confidence workshop competition and I might be drawing your name on the 31st of July. We'd love to have you there. We're going to be talking about the change process, how you can change your mind, your body and your soul to help you become more confident. So until tomorrow's episode, have yourself a fantastic day. Whatever you do, of course, do it consciously, do it confidently and do it straight away. Don't leave it hanging over your head. Don't waste that kind of energy. Have yourself a fantastic day. Dear, look at these hanky panky. What you up to, guys? What are you doing? I don't think that's where you're meant to go. You're doing it wrong. Oh dear. It's definitely not something you see every day.